What's up guys? Today I want to talk to you about something that I've been thinking about for a while as a creator on the iPad, and that is Final Cut Pro X coming to the iPad. Now it might not be called Final Cut Pro X or Final Cut Pro 10, it might just be called Final Cut Pro, Final Cut Pro iPad, something like that. But we've been thinking about this app coming to the iPad pretty much ever since the iPad Pro was released because we expected pro level apps to come to a pro level device. Now, that just hasn't happened, and it's been years now since the Pro was released, and so we're really wondering at this point, will we see this app released in WWDC this year, or at least announced, to show that Pro-level apps can come to the iPad? Now, of course, those of us who are using the iPad for professional work already know that Pro-level apps are here with things like Affinity Photo and Procreate, Affinity Designer, we're able to do professional work, and even video editing, we're able to do with LumaFusion. So that's really the question, if Final Cut Pro comes to the iPad, then what happens to an app like LumaFusion that's basically built its whole market share on the idea that it's the only professional video editor on the iPad? And if something comes out from Apple, what happens to them? I think this could go a couple different ways. If Apple gets up on the stage at WWDC next month and they announce Final Cut Pro, that will be a big step forward for the iPad because it will show Apple's own commitment to their own professional product, which I really think they need to do in order to convince creators in mass that this is going to be professional. As you know, this is kind of a niche thing that those of us who are doing creative work on the iPad professionally, it's not nearly as many of us as I think Apple would have hoped when they initially started releasing it. Now, you know, I don't use an iPad Pro myself in my day-to-day -day work. I just use a base model iPad, and that's what I think is interesting. A lot of what happens with Final Cut Pro will depend on what they release it for, what iPad is allowed to use it. Because if it only comes out for the iPad Pros, which I kind of think it might because they have the more RAM, that might be why all of the iPad Pros got six gigs of RAM this time around in the 2020 release. And so if Final Cut Pro only comes out for those iPad Pros, then there will still be a really solid market of those of us who use base model iPads, iPad Airs, and iPad Minis for LumaFusion to be able to flourish in as a tool for creators using lower end iPads. But if Final Cut Pro comes out for all iPads, then the question is what will happen to LumaFusion? It's hard to say and it will really depend on the price point. You know, Final Cut Pro costs $300 for the desktop app, which is not a bad deal for a pro level app like that considering that Adobe of course charges $53 a month for their subscription that includes Final Cut's main competitor Premiere Pro. So it will really depend on the price point because Apple has not really shown us what they would charge for professional level apps on the iPad. Apple has pretty much only released iPad apps that they give away for free like iMovie and GarageBand which are great apps but not at the pro level. So it will be really interesting to see where that price point comes in. I don't think it would come in at $300 like the desktop app. Maybe it will be included with the purchase of the desktop app, or maybe it will come in more at like $100, which would still be very expensive for an app. If it comes in around $100, bucks, then there's still a really strong place in the market for LumaFusion at its lower price point. I think I paid like $20 bucks for LumaFusion, and now it's like $30, a real steal for a video editing app like that. Now, there's always room for multiple people in the market, but of course, Apple can tend to dominate when they bring out a new application that does something that someone else was doing before. So it will be really interesting to see what happens. I do hope that we see Final Cut Pro released because I do want to see more and more professional apps come to the iPad so that we can do more and more work. But I don't want to see LumaFusion die just because Apple has released their own product into the market because we need competition to drive everything forward. So go ahead and let me know in the comments what do you think is going to happen. Is Final Cut Pro going to be released at WWDC this year? And along with that, do you think Logic Pro will be released for professional audio editing? Let me know if you think it's coming out. Let me know what you think will happen to LumaFusion and other apps as these more name brand professional apps come to the iPad. What do you think is going to happen? Of course, we've seen Photoshop come to the iPad as a complete and abysmal failure, but we'll see what happens with that as Adobe progresses. They've announced Illustrator but no word on it actually coming out yet. Big surprise there. So um, let me know in the comments what you think is going to happen here in the next little bit, whether or not Final Cut Pro is going to be released and what you think might happen if it is. All right, and I will see you guys next time.